Mongrel just played the most recent cash cup with Mr. Savage and he managed to qualify to the finals. But if they stuck together for the entire season, could they win an FNCS? I think the glaring issue in this duo is that Mongrel quit the game for over a year, quite obviously. Even back when he was playing, his FNCSs were often kinda hit or miss. After winning FNCS with Tayson and Mitro in Chapter 2 Season 4, the Stark season, he failed to qualify to the Grand Finals in the following season. In one of the weekly qualifiers, he and Mitro didn't even manage to make it out of the open round either. Mongrel's mechanics were always some of the best in the world, and regardless of the season, he's always been a really good fighter. Add on top of that his tier 1 aim, and you already have an extremely talented fighter with a ton of competitive potential. However, one of the main traits of a successful fragger is your ability to listen to your teammate and work with them, and <laughs> unfortunately, one of Mongrel's main weaknesses as a player has always been his patience and his ability to listen. You want to impulse in? You want to impulse in? He's rushing! Mongrel would also heavily rely on his fragging ability, making up for the mistakes he made by being faster and being able to hit harder. But once the skill level of top players kind of started to catch up with his level, he ended up getting punished much more for these mistakes. However, since Mongrel left Fortnite, he's gone through a pretty crazy transformation in his life. I don't think anyone three years ago would have thought that this guy would be preaching about the benefits of discipline. They used to call me Usain Bolt. But in the nerdy sentence of 2023, this has had a really interesting effect on his Fortnite gameplay. Mechanically, Mongrel is still a very good player. I'm yet to see him really go one-on-one -on -one with some of the best players in the region to see how he really holds up, but he still seems solid on this front. It does seem like his edits can be pretty inconsistent, like he's trying to be too fast, but a lot of this can be just relearned by practicing, and that's pretty reasonable given the amount of time he's had off from the game. He does have a tendency to make big, wide, open, bad edits, relying more on his speed, which will work against lower-level players, but can often be a pitfall when fighting the best players in the world, and they're often usually ready for this type of play. This is reflected well in his match history from the Solo Cash Cup Opens, where he basically either wins with double-digit elims or dies. But realistically, mechanics only take you so far in competitive Fortnite. His aim is definitely his strongest attribute. It's hard to compare this to the rest of the pros in the region just from watching a few games, but his close-range shotgun aim, his close-range tracking, and his long-range tracking are all still really on point. He still makes a lot of minor mistakes that cost some games, some of which are just from being out of practice, and some are just bad muscle memory. However, despite this, as a player, he almost seems more mature. When playing duos, he listens to Mr. Savage very well. He gives Mr. Savage's calls the respect they deserve as the much more knowledgeable player, which was a major problem in his gameplay in the past. Mongrel often doesn't make the solo plays and doesn't really get tunnel visioned like he used to. The side effect of this is that he also seems to be taking less risks, which can be good and a bad thing. For Mongol, I think this is predominantly a good thing, as previously he would often make risky plays that wouldn't work out. Now, in the Duo Cash Cup, Mongol and Mr. Savage placed 27th in the Opens and 15th in the Finals. A very respectable placement. However, Mr. Savage is arguably in his prime at the minute. Maybe not in terms of placements, but in terms of individual skill, he is looking better than ever. As a solo in Game 5 of the Finals, he solo clutched the entire endgame and managed to play second place, which may make you think that Mongol kind got carried in this tournament, but this was far from the case. Mongrel himself solo clutched a 7th place finish in game number 3, which when watching gave me like massive flashbacks to the World Cup solo finals. Even looking back at the open round, a lot of their deaths were from Mr. Savage going down first, and Mongrel definitely held his own weight across the opens and in the finals, despite making obviously a good few errors along the way. But there are a couple major obvious problems with this duo going forward. The first is that they aren't even officially playing together yet. Mongrel seems interested in playing FNCS, and he and Savage have joked about it a few times on stream, but up until this point, Savage has been playing with Pink and placing very, very well. Pink is a much more established player, and there's no doubt that Savage would more than likely place better playing with him, so he has a decision to make. Does he play with Mongrel, stream everything, and make great content over the season, and then bag out on the cash, or does he lock in and fully commit to trying to win an FNCS with Pink? And then that begs another question. If Mongrel and Mr. Savage do decide to stick together for the season, 
Will they actually grind and practice? Both players aren't particularly known as scrim grinders, and with the current skill level amongst top tier players being so high, it's close to impossible to win in FNCS without really putting in the time for multiple seasons, really. The fact that they placed 15th in the first Duo Cash Cup final is a really good sign that this team has a ton of potential, and I think if they really put their minds to it, they can easily qualify to an FNCS Grand Finals and place probably somewhere in the top 10. However, based on Mr. Savage's recent Grand Finals placements, when playing with Vidil, a significantly better fragger than Mongrel, it would be hard to say they could win an FNCS. However, let's be real, I want them to play together, I want to see the content, and I want to see him succeed.